Hi everyone, I am Minit Kimire and in this video I will be showing you the demonstration of now the host is mine super fast subdomain takeover detection tool built on Rust and it is known as NTSIM that stands for now the host is mine and I have been working on this project since January this year and this video is all about our demonstration of now the host is mine and I just uh, did a major release of this uh, project just around 4 days ago and that is why I am creating this demonstration video just for you so let's start so I have registered a domain called 0 .co and I have created some subdomains on that and some of them are vulnerable and some are not and in this video I will just use these subdomains to scan with NTSIM and check whether any of these is vulnerable or not so let's get back to our terminal and let's do ls let's do software.txt and all of these subdomains are available in this software.txt file so the thing that I can, I'm going to do next is I'll do ntsim-s and I'll see the help for ntsim and it says I need to pass dash the flag for files and dash so for output dash t for target this is for a single target and this is for threads so let's start we will simply start with cat softs.txt and we will do stpx dash silent dash o stpx.txt and when I do cat stpx.txt I will see this result now I need to pass this result to ntsim right so let's do that ntsim dash f stpx.txt just like that now what if you want to see the list of those that are not vulnerable what will you do in that case so you can simply use dax free flag for the purpose mode and it's going to show the ones that are not vulnerable as well now what if you want to output all of these in a file so I'll do dash o now I'll do output .txt now I'll do cat output.txt and you see these are all output to the file now let's try checking if any of these is vulnerable or not so I'll just open this one see this is vulnerable because there is written there is not a github site here so let's just try another one as well Amazon S3 and no source bucket so this is probably vulnerable to Amazon S3 bucket takeover as well so now this was with multiple commands but what if you want to make all of those in a single line what will you do in that case since NTSIM does not accept forward inputs how can you receive that with NTSIM and there is a tool called XCRGS with which you can do that so let's see how we can do that thing we will do cat sops txt and we will do stpx dash silent and we will do zarx dash i we will do this and we will do ntsim dash t and we will put this here and we will check just like that now what if you want to send all of this to a file as output you will do this and you will do t hello txt now you can do cat hello txt and see it is there so that is how you can use ntsim and that's all for this video if you need any more tutorials about ntsim or any help related to this tool just let me know and i'll be there to help you out so thank you for watching this video have a nice day goodbye